My tip for you for fishing for pike. It is very important you listen very good. Have you got your big elephant ears open? Okay, your elephant ears are open now. I will speak in a voice you will understand. All right, the best way to fish for pike, all right? So you get a wire trace, two hooks on, all right? Your wire trace should be about a foot and a half long. Got it? All that's on your line. That's all. Now you go to the shop and you buy a packet of sardines. They're frozen, about the size of your hand there. Right? You get about 24 for about four or five quid. Put it on, head facing towards you. Got it? White trace, sardine on, head facing towards you. Cast out, reeling really slow. Really slow. There's nothing better than a dead, real live bait. Got it? Don't make the mistake of sitting in one place for three weeks waiting for a pike. You walk along the riverbanks. You spend 10 minutes each spot. Cast out every, every single part of that swim you should be casting. 10 minutes. You don't catch anything, move to the next spot. That's my tip, mate. You're on a big fucking landing net. Big forceps. Don't get your little fucking fishing skewer. Big forceps. That's it. So tell me what you got to do. That's right. Big, long, long trace. About a foot and a half trace. Two treble hooks on. Got it? Easy to make. YouTube will show you how to make a wire trace with two treble hooks. Snap track up and tackle together. Really strong line. Strongest you can find. And you'll probably lose, if you're fishing right, you'll probably lose about six traces in a day. But if you want to catch the fish, that's what you've got to do. Got it? Sardines, they're about the size of your hand. They're fat as well. Don't get these little tiny things. They're quite big. The bigger the fish, the bigger the pikes can go for it. Reeling really slow. Fucking baby slow. Got it? Hope you enjoy it.